Hello there. I am on my summer break at the moment. I've got some good time off and so I'm spending some time relaxing and recharging and as a lot of people around my age do, I'm spending some time on TikTok and on Instagram Reels and you know what? I noticed something. A lot of them are using music but they're speeding it up so that it's two times as fast and something strange happens to the audio, just like this gentleman here is doing. The pitch or how high or low something is shifts up. It gets higher, it gets squeakier. Well, well, that's a bit strange. Why does it do this? Well, let's talk about it. First, we'll get the TikTok things out of the way so that we can get to what I think is more interesting. And that is, of course, the music stuff. Okay, so TikTok, bye now for the time of recording this anyway, is a monolith. And we don't know who first sped up a song to two times speed to put in their TikTok. But what we do know is that it has become extremely popular. At first, I thought this was to avoid copyright infringement, and I don't know that this is the case. I'm going to not go into great detail here, but basically, if you use an artist's work, they are entitled to compensation, even if you change it. And if you use a work without permission, you could get sued. But many of these sites, such as YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, have licensing deals with music distributors that ensure that they get paid when using the songs that they have. They get a cut of the revenue. There are automatic content identification systems that detect parts of music that belong in their databases, and this ensures that funds get directed to them. Initially, I thought that the speeding up of music circumnavigated these systems, but I can't find any evidence that that's actually the case. So it wouldn't surprise me if the technology has caught up and can detect sped up or altered samples so that they get paid. I don't know, I might be wrong about this, but that's not actually the important thing that we're talking about today. So let's move on. Why might someone use sped up music in their TikTok? Well, there are a number of possible reasons. It might actually make lip syncing and dancing in some songs easier. It might make a slower song more upbeat. And music that's sped up to make the singers sound like chipmunks isn't a new idea. It turns out that plenty of people don't mind high pitch, unusual sounding music. But, and here's the big question of this video, why, when the sound is played back faster, does it sound higher? How are these songs higher in pitch? The answer, it turns out, is simple but also beautiful and in some ways not simple. Uh, let's get into it. Are you going to talk about the harmonic series? No, not today. I talked about this in my why does your voice sound different in a recording video and there's a link in the description but sound travels in waves. There are two main features to a wave. There's the amplitude or how tall it is, how much energy a wave is carrying. We interpret this as how loud a sound is. Then there's the frequency or how fast the wave is vibrating or how close the waves are together. The faster the wave, the higher the pitch. The slower the wave, the lower the pitch. I'm going to slow my voice down now, but fast forward the video without correcting for pitch, and now you can see that my voice is sounding higher. By speeding up the video, I have caused the sound to shift higher. Well, let's go back to normal for a second, and I'm going to speed up my speech. But slow down the video, and now my voice sounds lower. Why? Well, because when I speed up the video, I increase the frequency of the sound. The waves are closer together because it's vibrating faster, which is why it sounds higher. Are you not going to talk about the harmonic series? No, not for today, not in this video. But here's a fun thing we can do with music. Many editing softwares allow us to correct for pitch, which essentially takes a sped up or slowed down piece of sound and calculates the adjustments to the frequencies it needs to make by removing vibrations to give us the original pitch at a faster or slower tempo. If I double the speed of one song, such as the Scott Burroughs and Avocado Tree theme song, which I can use because I own the copyright, and leave it sounding chipmunky, 
Then if I do the same thing with another identical track, speed it up, but correct for pitch change so that it's playing at the original pitch just faster and then play the two tracks back together. It sounds like this. Huh, it works. It sounds fine. It could have sounded like this. But it sounded like this. Why is that? Are you going to talk about the harmonic series now? <sighs> I suppose I'll talk about the harmonic series. This is where we get mathematical with music. The harmonic series is how we pair musical notes or pitches to things that are measurable and quantifiable. Have you ever wondered what makes a note itself? Like, why is an A an A? it's because it has a certain frequency. It vibrates a certain number of times per second. And we have mapped our Western instruments, at least, onto these. This is why we can agree that a C sounds like a C. It's because of its frequency. It's also how we can tell if something's out of tune because we can tell that it's vibrating faster or slower. We can hear that. For example, let's take an A, an A4. This is the one above middle C on a piano. This note's frequency is 440 hertz, and a hertz is the unit of measure we give for frequencies. It describes how many cycles or vibrations per second. This A's frequency is 440 hertz, meaning it vibrates, or the wave cycle goes up and down, 440 times a second. But here's the cool thing. Let's go up the keyboard until we get to our next A. This is an A5, and it has a frequency of 880 hertz. The previous one was 440 hertz, and this one is 880 hertz. Do you notice anything about these two numbers? Hold on to what you think, because we're going to add another one. We're going to keep going up. This is an A6. It's getting higher. This time, its frequency is 1760 hertz. Do you notice anything about these three numbers? They doubled each time. The distance from A to the A, or indeed from the distance from any number to the next one of the same name, is called an octave. Oct being eight, because that's how many tonal steps we have in a scale. When you go up an octave, you double the frequency. Doesn't matter where you start, if you double it, you get an octave. Does that mean that if we took our original A and went down an octave, we'd halve it? Well, yes, A3 is 220 hertz. And all of these A's, when played together, just kind of blend together. These notes all have the same kind of quality. They kind of sound the same, and this is why the musical alphabet only goes up to G, and then it repeats back to A. These notes have the same quality. What has this got to do with the sped up music of TikTok and being able to sound okay when played with a pitch corrected version? Well, if you double the speed of something, it doubles the frequencies of the notes. And because it's doubled, it's shifted up an octave, which means you can take a chip monkey sped up version and a sped up but pitch corrected version, overlay them and then sound fine, so long as you've doubled them. And while we're here, let's add more layers to this. You know, we could go down, you know, uh, or we could just keep adding them. So long as they're doubled or halved the previous ones, it works, which I think is very cool. Thank you. You're welcome. We've gone on a little adventure today. We've looked at how people on TikTok like to double the speed of a song to get chipmunk-like music, turning sometimes sad, slower songs into upbeat tunes. But then, and what I think is more interesting, we had a very, very brief and simplified look into the harmonic series and why speeding up music just kind of works. And even if you play a pitch corrected version alongside it, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something and I'd love to know what you thought about this video in the comments below and with that like button. If you haven't already done so, I invite you to subscribe to That's Pretty Cool where I look into other videos that I think are on interesting topics. Topics that inspire in me a sense of curiosity and wonder. Thank you so much again. Take care, stay curious and I will see you next time.